All right, hi, welcome back, Attorney Steve Vondra, and welcome to another exciting video. Today we are talking about trade secrets. Trade secrets, it's that other, the fourth class of intellectual property. Usually we talk about intellectual property, we mean patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade secrets. We are talking about trade secrets under California law, the California Uniform Trade Secret Act. So without further ado, let's head to the Attorney Steve litigation whiteboard. Okay. So trade secrets are very interesting cases, and um, trade secrets are cool. They're basically um, anything that gives your company a competitive advantage in the marketplace. It's kept secret, subject to reasonable steps to keep it secret, and it gives you that competitive advantage. So it could be anything. It could be customer lists. It could be formulas, methods, things that you do inside your company that you don't want anyone else to know. And that gives you that advantage. Could be a secret sauce, you know, like the KFC or the Coke secret formula. Okay, so it could be a lot of things. In you, when you get into a trade secret case, a lot of these cases are going to be arbitration bound because you're usually many handbooks or employee agreements and things are going to have some sort of clause that says if there's a dispute over the trade secrets, we can seek an injunction, we can take you to arbitration, so forth and so on. So one of the first things we always look at is what does the clause say? Do you have any rules governing whether this can be brought in a state court in California, for example, or your state where you reside? Check your rules. You may have something very similar. Um, there is the Uniform Trade Secret Act. A lot of states have adopted a version of that. So California is no exception with CUTSA. So in order to win, when you win your case as a defendant, as a plaintiff, of course, if you win your case, you can seek potentially your attorney fees. However, as a defendant, when you can show objective speciousness and subjective bad faith, then you may be able to cover your costs and attorney fees, including expert witness fees. All right. So here it is. Again, that's two things you must prove in California. Objective speciousness is one. This is just looking, hey, maybe there's no cause of action. Maybe they really shouldn't have brought the case. Maybe there was no trade secret. Maybe they knew there was no trade secret and were just conjuring up something for litigation, okay? Trying to, trying to make a case out of nothing, okay? Um, a lot of these cases will involve a departing employee, goes over to a competitor, and that really upsets the, uh, the first owner, which I will call disgruntled, the disgruntled owner that's mad that you left or maybe you – you uh, did something wrong or you took took with you something they didn't want you to take, um, taking your documents, taking your things, and then trying to compete with you. So that compete. So different things can tie in here, non-compete agreements, confidentiality agreements, all kinds of things. But here, if you can show there was no, there's no valid cause of action, there never was, there was no chance of there ever being a valid cause of action, um, the case was frivolous, not only frivolous, no evidence, nor could they ever even hope to obtain evidence, or maybe they were going to file a lawsuit so they could do discovery into their competitor and see what their competitor's up to, maybe check out their inner workings of their operation, okay? Things like this, um, again, stifle competition, that's a big one. Hey, my competitor took someone, I'm the big boy on the block, and I'm going to... I'm going to stifle them. I'm going to force them to pay attorney fees. I'm going to sue them. I'm going to bully them through the court system or through the arbitration system, which can also be expensive, by the way. Um, or outrageous demands where, you know, you, you, you have something or maybe you lost a customer list and you want $2 million, something where it's showing that you're not really acting in good faith and instead perhaps bad faith. Bad faith is what you're trying to avoid here. This comes under California Civil Code Section 3426.4. Um, so one you have to prove is this, and look at your facts in your case. It could be a lot of different things. This is not an exclusive list. And then two, you need to show subjective bad faith. Now, this is hard because subjective is, well, what's in his mind? What was she thinking? What were they, what was going through the melon here? Um, that can be difficult. But again, a lot of courts will allow you to argue the facts, the various circumstances to try to get to anything else that you may have documents or anything, witness testimony to show that this could not have been in good faith. The circumstances, the facts, the totality of the circumstances show that this could not have been in good faith. If you can show all that, 
you can seek to get your attorney fees back, your costs, and again, expert witness fees. So that's just a quick overview of California trade secret law. Check your state. This is not legal advice. This is general legal information only. But again, if you're a trade secret defendant, you prevail, you might want to be thinking about this right here. Good opportunity to get your fees back. Attorney Steve Vondren, Intellectual Property Civil Litigation. You know where to find us on the web at attorneysteve.com. That's attorneysteve.com. Have a great day. Got to go. Bye-bye.